Hello, everyone, and welcome to week one of the 2018 NFL season. As many of you know, I'm a Vikings fan. As some of you also know, I was lucky enough to spend a couple weeks this summer among my people in the lands of the Vikings, Iceland and Norway. I won't go into that too much because I could spend hours talking about the trip, but I will say this. While I was there, I found myself thinking, I'm going to miss this. How can I bring a little bit of that home with me? I tried to think of ways that I could you know, bring some, some of the adventure home. Then I found this Viking brand beers, a little taste of Iceland on the top. It says, uh, five fine beers from the top of the world. Um, it's a sampler pack. Uh, it includes a couple beers that I had while I was there and a few that I did not. I got it home. And then I was thinking, what special occasion do I wait for to drink these? You don't want to wait too long. It's beer. It'll go stale. You don't want to drink them too fast because then you don't have it. It's gone. And as far as I know, I can't find it real easily here. So I was kind of twisting back and forth. You know, do I wait for Halloween or something? Do I share them with people? I only got five of them. So I found a way that I can make them last, enjoy them on a special occasion, share them with all of you, and still get to drink all five of them myself. Each week, I will be reviewing one of the Viking beers and previewing the upcoming Vikings game. Now, I don't have any qualifications to do either. I barely have the video equipment necessary to do either, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Starting with the Viking Classic. This is their Budweiser. It's their flagship beer, if you will. Now, I selected this because in week one, the Vikings get the 49ers, who of course got their name from the prospectors who came out in 1849 uh, to look for gold. Look what color the can is. Huh? How perfect is that? Okay. So I'm going to crack this open. Now, normally I'm a, a drink it from the can or bottle guy myself, but I grabbed this little glass so you can all see the color for you, you beer connoisseurs out there. Look at that. I guess uh, I would call that kind of a, I don't know if you can see it real well in this light, but a very clear, uh, almost straw honey color, very light, uh, more than I was expecting, honestly. But the color isn't everything. Let's give it a sip. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, a little bit of background on this particular beer. It is, they call it their American style lager. It's got 5.6% alcohol by volume. It is called Viking Gultur, which is gold, basically. I don't speak a lot of Icelandic, but that's what it means. And it's a little hoppy, um, which gives it a little bit of that bitterness, but it's not quite an IPA. I would say it's, it's somewhere on this side of that. Between like a, a domestic beer and an IPA, I don't know if those, I don't know much about beer. But it's somewhere between like a Budweiser and an IPA. A little hoppier than a Budweiser, but not nearly that real dry taste that I get from a lot of IPAs. Good start so far. It's very smooth, very light, considering it's not even a light beer. I look forward to next week's and drinking this right now before the game. Man, I'm going to have to edit some of this, aren't I? Yeah. God, I'm not very good at this. That's not a great way to start this either. All right, I had some technical difficulties, but now, thanks to some editing, we're ready to talk about the game. Let's start with a quick rundown of the storylines. Both uh, the Vikings and the 49ers will be starting different quarterbacks than the ones they had under center at the start of 2017. The Vikings, of course, started last year with Sam Bradford before his knees couldn't hold out and they replaced him with Case Keenum. Case Keenum took the Vikings all the way to that amazing implosion in Philadelphia. Uh, then in the offseason, they signed Kirk Cousins, one of the biggest free agents to hit the market in quite some time, but who is not quite the stone-cold lock that an Aaron Rodgers or a Tom Brady or even a Big Ben would be. So there's a lot that we have yet to find out about him. Uh, the 49ers started 2017 atrociously. I mean, they were just awful. They were, I think they were overshadowed by the, the Browns, but they were bad. Uh, until they signed, I mean, they stole Jimmy Garoppolo from the New England Patriots 
a shockingly small price tag for a man many people considered the heir apparent to Tom Brady. He had, by most people's standards, the skills to replace him. And of course, he was, I mean, by everyone, he was considered handsome enough to fill the dapper leather loafers that would have been vacated by Tom Brady if he ever were to see the painting that he keeps of himself in his attic. Anyway, uh, Jarek McKinnon actually left the Vikings in the offseason to go to the 49ers, and some people were thinking he would be the second coming of the Danian Tomlinson, and others thought he would continue to be a gadget player like he was in Minnesota. Sadly, he uh, injured his knee just a couple days ago and is out for the season, not a couple days ago, a week ago, and is out for the season, so we will not know until 2019 what role he's going to play in that offense. Uh, speaking of run, last season, the 49ers were one of the worst teams in the NFL at stopping the run. So Dalvin Cook, who is himself coming off of a torn knee ligament, will be looking to have a huge game uh, on his first day back if the 49ers haven't addressed their run defense at all. Uh, they did address their pass defense a little bit as they signed Richard Sherman, uh, who was famously on the Seattle Seahawks, but ended last season with a torn Achilles. He'll be looking to come back from that torn Achilles and, for the first time, playing without his brothers in the Legion of Boom. Uh, he will likely have his hands full with Stefan Diggs. That is, of course, that uh, Kirk Cousins stays upright long enough to complete a pass. The Vikings' offensive line is real shaky right now. They got super lucky last year. Um, they stayed healthy the whole time. And this year they've got a bunch of guys out on injury, a couple people who just joined during the preseason, uh, some unproven younger guys, and of course they tragically lost Tony Sperano during the preseason, um, further throwing things into disarray. My prediction is the Vikings will win a close one uh, on the backs of their defense and running backs as the pass offense continues to look a little shaky. Um, I'm thinking maybe a couple picks from Cousins if they throw that much. Uh, I also think Jimmy G will find a way to generate some offense against the Vikings D, but it's going to be on big plays. I wouldn't expect a lot of uh, sustained drives. But it's the Vikings, and they always prove me wrong. So, uh, again, I'm taking the Vikings. For those of you who are still watching, thank you. Hi, Mom. And uh, as the Icelandic people say, Skol filetér, or cheers to you. Go Vikings.